That's what they called <laughs> our cat. Is he intact? He is not. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> I'm so sad because his little balls were so cute and yeah. furry. Hi, Hi friends and welcome to Wife's vs. World, where we have fun talking about queer stuff and life as a trans cis lesbian couple. I'm Jackie. I'm Enya. And today we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna be talking about the haters. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We get some unhinged comments from time to yeah. time. And uh, usually we just chuckle at them, laugh it up, uh, take a little screenshot and move on with our day. We don't get a lot of uh, hate comments, thankfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we do get a little bit. And when we've screenshotted them, we delete them immediately and block the people who give them because we don't want our viewers to see the comments. Us, we don't. It, we're we're good. We're fine. <laughs> it doesn't really it doesn't really impact us in any way. If you are faced with this kind of comments, maybe you can channel us, and it will be a shield. Like yeah, oh, yeah. So a tiny little trigger warning. Like if any kind of transphobia or like mm, hateful comments will bring you down, maybe maybe skip this video. Maybe this is not for you. The hate messages we typically get can be categorized into three categories, um, which I have su suggested. We have the phobes. We have uh, plenty of transphobes coming into our comments. And then we have the the Bible... Did, uh, did you write Bible boys? Yeah. The Bible boys. <laughs> and then the last category is tomfoolery, where the comments, like, they are obviously supposed to be negative towards us, but they yep. do not make any sense. Before we started our channel, when we just started, I was kind of afraid because obviously we are gonna attract those kinds of haters. And I was a little afraid of the potential hate we would get. Mm -hmm. Like I had this fear that someone would say something that was like... It would break you. It would break you. Yeah, it would some, make you so yeah. sad. Yeah, it would make me so sad that I couldn't like function. I would keep thinking about it or uh, whatever. Yeah. But like, this has not happened. No, we just got basically, you know, an army of people in, in, in floaties and, and tiny shovels going... Wah! Like, it's not very intimidating. No, exactly. If your point is, you'll never be a woman, my counterpoint is, I am. Anyway, we thought it would be fun to provide you with some examples. So let's uh, <laughs> let's dive into it. Uh, so should we do the, uh, the phobes first? Let's do the phobes. Let's do the phobes. First and foremost, can't wait for your relationship to end because she secretly doesn't love that you transitioned and will eventually leave you because she wants an actual man, not you. Wow, like I feel like this comment uh, should push on some pain buttons, but it, yeah. just, it just doesn't because I don't, I don't feel like this. Like this is this feels like such a hateful small person who who yeah. wants other people to be miserable. It's like it's just being mean. Yeah, but yeah, also, yeah. what are you actually saying here? You you can't wait for the fifteen year relationship to end, because uh, you secretly uh, don't love that I have transitioned. Uh, I want a real man. Because you want a real man. You know how twinks and lingerie they considered very <laughs> real men. What are you calling your sweet wife? <laughs> You have a very clear type, and it's not a an SUV driving Vin Diesel type with like a huge uh, toxic masculinity <laughs> vibes going for them. Like no matter what? what I want in this life, it would never be a real. It, it would never be. I'm sorry. This is a person. This talk. This is more about this person than it says about us. So I don't know. Is there just... a through line there? <laughs> I wonder. Come on, you can do better. <laughs> Try again. Yeah. Uh, next one is also a folk. Or, radical suggestion, there's no such thing as transitioning to the opposite sex, and believing you can is delusional. The person believing themselves to be the wrong sex needs to get some serious therapy to try and get them to a place where they can accept the reality of their sexed body and working towards acceptance. If they don't, then I recommend the other partner leaves the relationship as the person who becomes trans-identified will set to themselves constantly, groom you, gaslight you, and make you an accessory to <laughs> delusion. Wow! <laughs> like, someone just cracked open the dictionary and took the <laughs> entire right-wing playbook and just like, blah. Have I gaslit you? Only about cleaning. <laughs> What's it called? Um, bullshit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, first One of all, can't... we don't agree on no. your central message. You no, cannot so change your gender. Already there, you've just yeah. taken your soapbox, you've gotten into our comments, and you've just bleh, and then you've, <laughs> you know, closed <laughs> your phone or something. Like, that's not really conducive to anything. Second of all, it's like, we're of the belief that gender is a social construct, and you are apparently of the belief that uh, sex determines everything. 
it, this is not addressing anything that we're saying. This is has nothing to do with anything. And and second is like, well, if you could just uh, accept the reality of your sex body and work towards acceptance, it's like, I am, I am the most accepting right now. Yeah, you're I'm very working nice with sex my body. sex body. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm it's weird to say, body. don't <laughs> don't you fucking dare. <laughs> So I think we can just like throw you out. There's the door. So a man is trying to look like a woman and marries a woman? So a straight couple that looks like a lesbian couple? I'm not sure I understand. We this is this is one of the most like uh, common actually we yeah. get. Like some kind of you're still straight or you are you are not two women or whatever, I don't know. To which I say Okay. <laughs> Like, again, mind your business. Yeah, mind your own business, man. I don't care what you say because clearly she is, and the world thinks so too. The world know? treats me as such. Yeah, so, exactly. like, you can point at the sky and say, that there is actually pink. And I'll be like, okay. Okay. <laughs> you Fine. can believe what you want, it isn't true, but you know. <laughs> mind your own business. Yeah. In social chit chat, this is of course inappropriate. I think this was a video, uh, don't ask me about my genitals. And then they say, However, let's not pretend if fully intact men are allowed into sex-segregated female spaces with women and girls in countries where self-ID is a law. It's not personal, it's a matter of public policy and protection of women's rights, as we have seen very recently in Scotland. That is why it is significant in this particular sphere of public life. Um, let me just start by saying it's not personal, it's a matter of public policy and protecting women's rights. You can easily codify this kind of hatred and stuff into something that seems neutral by just making it, you know, it's just public policy. Like, do you see what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Second of all, from this day on, I will not be allowing fully intact men into my sex segregated bathroom in this apartment. <laughs> like, I, I love that. <laughs> That's what they called our cat. <laughs> Is he intact? He is not. He is not. <laughs> Being straight with just a few extra steps. <laughs> I love I think about this comment sometimes. <laughs> like I think I think it's very funny. Mm. Uh, like what Because when nah -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Like and see what are you gonna do about it? What what do you wanna do? What do you wanna do about it? <laughs> if I am, to be perfectly honest, if we in any way were to read like a straight couple, you would be the man. Uh, yes. Only because you are the daddy of the commons. Ooh, I like that. You'll never be a lesbian couple. What a joke. <laughs> Who's <Okay>. laughing? Sick <laughs> girl. Who <laughs> 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 just... We established that we aren't a lesbian couple. No, exactly. We're I a... have wide references. We're a sort of weird couple. We are sort of weird couple. Yeah. So, all right. You look like a woman, but you will never be a true one. You have no uterus, and maybe you still keep your penis. <laughs> That's for me to know, and you <laughs> should never find out. <laughs> all right, so let's just like run through the list. You have no uterus? Great. I don't for- Oh, my we've God. just excluded anyone who for some reason doesn't have a uterus. Could be they had to have it removed due to cancer. Uh, great, you're no longer women, so sorry. And maybe you still keep your penis. Um, like a pet? In a jar? <laughs> Thank you for saying I look like a woman, I guess. Uh, I'm not really actually wanting that funny. from you. Um, like, I'll Show never be a true. I'll never be a true woman, but also apparently never be a true man. Uh, <laughs> that's very interesting, actually. Trading as woman. Dear straight people, stop appropriating the word lesbian. Lesbian is a sexual orientation, not a toy for roleplay purposes. My lord. <laughs> You had to dig real deep for that one, didn't you? People looking at us and calling us straight people. No one, no one thinks we're straight. No, no one thinks we're straight. I mean, I was, I was bullied excessively. Uh, but no, yeah. just, just the right amount, actually. No, I was bullied heavily <laughs> in school, in primary school. Um, and I know when words can hurt, and I know when someone is just, you know, what are you, what are you, what, what, what? <laughs> You can't just appropriate the word lesbian. We're straight. We're a straight couple. Oh. We need to own our straight coupleness. Okay, I suppose. Um, but what if I don't care? Like this weird kind of minority turfy kind of. Are those boots so delicious that you just have to slurp them all up? So girl marries boy. Nothing new here. <laughs> and it's. <laughs> Like, if I'm getting tired, it's because these comments are so tired. Yeah. Come on, reinvent yourself, do something new. 
Again, oh, okay. they, this person is hoping to hurt us by yeah. calling you a boy. Yeah. This this does nothing because she's not. No, it's the type of person who in primary school would have tried to hurt me by calling me a girl. <laughs> I mean, exactly. You've been called a, a f and a uh, girl your whole life, and yeah. then when you're like, okay, I a am. Actually, and they're like, actually, they say I can't tell the difference between you and Chuck Norris. You are a manly man, a man amongst <laughs> men. <laughs> you're the most metal thing I ever saw I ever existed. Oh, anywho, we have um, the Bible thumpers. We have gotten, we've gotten rid of most of those. Usually, it's like they quote uh, the Bible verse stuff. Mm -hmm. Either they pay, they sometimes they paste the Bible verses into the comments, or either and they, they just expect that to the, mean anything. Yeah, <laughs> or sometimes they just put the little numbers with the colon. I yeah. don't know what it's called. You still a guy in God's eyes. <laughs> We were both raised without religion. Mm -hmm. We are not religious people in a society that is very not religious. Welcome to Denmark. So people invoking God to hurt us or... <laughs> it's like saying Willy Wonka wouldn't agree yeah, with this. exactly. Like, it's like, okay, like, yeah, they... religion is fine, don't get me wrong, but like trying to use your religion to tell me what to do is like... Nah. It stops being fine, okay? And then I'm, I'm, it's suddenly not fine. No, like you could, you could never hurt me by s or change my mind by saying anything with mm. God. Like it, it, I'm immune to that shit. It yeah. doesn't, it doesn't mean anything to us. I, I guess maybe if you are someone who grew up in a heavily religious yeah. uh, community, the stuff like this would actually maybe make you sweat a bit. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, God, be it. triggering. Like yeah. if you had some kind of religious trauma, mm. I think th this kind of tactic would be eff mm. effective. What do you mean God doesn't like me? Yeah, exactly. I'm but a special little gal. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one more? Repent! Oh, <laughs> repent! <laughs> is that, is that it? it just says, repent! At I'm first I read it wrong, <laughs> I just thought it said serpent. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm not gonna repent. I'm very proud of myself mm. and I stand by all my actions. All right. Okay, now we have the Tom Fulu category. It's and the best. Strap in. It is, this is very good. <laughs> this is... Whew. Clownery. <laughs> That's uh, fair. I accept this. Yeah. Please. That's Miss Clown to you. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading this wrong. Let me just read it to you. If a biological male marries a biological male, the priest has to stay silent rather than say till death do us part, because biological males have souls, as opposed to women, whom are empty NPCs. Sorry, what? It's giving incel, it's giving what the fuck, it's giving... Uh -huh. like, even if this is supposed to be ironic, like of yeah. course women aren't that, then it's, I still don't understand. It's just so, you know, out of... <clears throat> is it called left field? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not American. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a sports. Um, it's just... <laughs> What are you? What? What are you? What, 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 what are you trying what? to say? I am. I am intrigued. I am intrigued. I don't know what it means. I think I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Y'all, strive in for this one. It's the best one. I'm a gay guy, like ten thousand percent, and I'm a Virgo, and I respect everything. But seriously, I cannot stop pointing out what I'm analyzing. Anya wanted to break up in the early two thousands. And this guy was so in love that he went to the extreme of getting hormones just to get her attention back. And it worked, because most straight women are curious about gays and trans. Real feminine gays and trans. But a real one would never ever date a woman. I'm sorry. And I follow your channel because my gut sense told me so. And I never intended to say something like this to you, but I, I can't hold this in anymore. Sometimes I feel bad for either Enya or Jackie. One of them doesn't want to admit what's going on, and the other one is only damaging her health. Totally acceptable for a gay guy to risk it in the name of being her best self. Sorry, what? Okay. Uh, but a straight man doing this is pointless. Just for having a girl to notice you? Having to transition? I'm gay and I've witnessed so many straight guys doing this. Having wives and still dating women after transitioning? You're doing this because you know you will be attention you always wished you had as a male. But women are tired of these macho straight guys who chase them. And biological women always fantasize about dating a gay guy. Because they're the only ones who won't chase them at all. And yes, gay men will never care on a romantical level. And women know that. So they also like to pretend that these straight men who transition are actually gay. They're not. They're pretending I'm sorry. Also, this type of behavior is what makes the whole world think that gay men transition just to use women locker rooms and stuff. I'm not saying it's Jackie's fault or that she can save the world. But it's because of men like them that real transgenders have this stigma, and it's not fair. This is... I love the... the okay, listen, my favorite part of this is... And I'm a Virgo. <laughs> so, jump that <laughs> down. Exactly. 
I like oh I like the, the casual uh, but very explicit uh, misogyny just running throughout this whole thing. And you want to do it for a woman? Why would you do that? Women are dumb. They don't know what they want. They don't like men. Women like gay men. Uh, but of course, gay men will never care about them. Ha ha. Stupid Anya. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stupid Anya. People are so... Uh, they believe in their heart that they understand what's going on between us and yeah. they need to explain it to the world. And to us. And to us, especially. <laughs> I want you to explain this to me. <laughs> you, you have been summoned to my office. Explain yourself. What the fuck does this mean? Uh, it's it's just funny. very funny because it makes no damn sense. It makes no sense. Like, none of this... None of this makes any sense. <laughs> like, their point that they, they want to they want us to not be together because I don't love you because you only transitioned for me to love you. But you do love me because I transitioned and you want to be with a gay guy, but I'm not gay. I don't I don't know. The logic the logic is not logic. Yeah. No. Stay where I go. <laughs> Stay where I go. <laughs> Identify as people and just be happy. I think that's a great advice. Thank you. I already <laughs> am. Um so you're not really helping me, but maybe someone out there who's not identifying as people, you know who you are, <laughs> uh, maybe you could use this one. I don't know. Hashtag sexy trans. Mm, I agree. You are very sexy trans. Yep. I mean, definitely not a hater. No, um, this is a support. It's very supportive. Uh, maybe they think you're sexy. Potential future lover. Mm -hmm. Call me. <laughs> what the fuck, dog? She came out as trans and she's hooked up with a les? What the fuck? I love that this sounds like some surfer dude who just truly does. does not understand. Like, she hooked up with a les? Jean, damn, dude. <laughs> if That's someone so sad. wrote this in a show, I would be like... <laughs> Based. <laughs> Perfect. No notes. Like, it's, it's, like from, it's, like from, it's like from Blades of Glory, <laughs> where that guy sees a picture of Jimmy Mackerel, <laughs> and, and he goes, that blonde chick's a dude? That blonde chick's a dude? Oh, man. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Just listen to Jackie and Ueno. You've now been uh, upgraded to a district in Tokyo. <laughs> I think just, people do not understand my name. It's really interesting. Um, Jackie is straight and Ueno is bisexualizing. Because they could not answer the questions in would you rather do this or do that, Jackie answered most questions that a straight would answer. But I'm not so sure about Ueno answering. I do not know what channel they are on. Could you find out and let me know? What are you talking about? You posted well, this on our channel. <laughs> I am a bisexual. Thank you very much. I'm happy you understand. Mm. But I'm surprised you're straight. You I, answered how straight people would. I guess I did. Um, but um, it, the thing is, Ueno, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, and, and I think this person is trying to be, again, helpful uh, in some I kind of... I think they are. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's very polite and it's very... Oh, it's I, I, li I listen to this. It's very good. But uh, first and foremost, uh, Ueno is uh, bisexualizing and uh, Jackie is straight. Uh, so deal with that. And it's like, okay, dealt with. <laughs> Thank you for your notes. Moving we'll on. Yeah, I'll put that on the fridge. Uh, great job, my man. This is gonna be a treat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get tea for this because that's yeah. Fun. Okay, let's hear what the the great philosophers of YouTube have to say. Word association ideology infant development game. Question to an eight-year-old child who takes the child to the park or cinema. Parents, try again. Mom and dad? Are they trans moms and dads? Um, try harder. Again, who takes the child to the park or cinema? I think mom and dad. The correct answer in this word association game is dad. And dad take the currently non-binary child to park or cinema. Now sit down immediately and watch this trans awareness video. I wish they showed that in the cinema. Yeah, they don't. Not at the park either. Uh, we need to teach boys to be feminists. Original feminists have nothing to do with advocating abortion, so omit this from your teaching for a start. What's homophobia? I don't fear homosexual- Ooh, gotcha! Gotcha! A real gotcha moment. No, you're not afraid of homosexuals. I just say it's not natural, as nature itself says. Parentheses. Homophobia definition. An extreme or rational fear or aversion. To something. Just to something, you know? Um, so, I'm afraid if... Uh, so I'm homophobe. Attack the basic unity of society, the traditional family led by a man, and take over the world, the Illuminati. So, if there's a genuine consent on pornography, it is okay? Five men on one consenting woman during sex, loving her, is great for society? Sounds like a good time. Who's the father when the contraption splits to pay the bills and maintenance and raise the child? I think I will become the opposite sex, as it seems to be cool, and everyone is doing it, so I will give it a go. I can always change my mind unless I have the surgery. I do not like my father, so I'll become a woman. I'm not mocking people with this medical illness, but I have to protect the young who might be destroyed by this. It, is there more? It says read more. It says read more, but I don't think I ever did. <laughs> I should have read the rest. This says 
so many things, but it it make again it makes no sense. It's, like, it's, it's very peak making up a guy to be mad at. <laughs> exactly. These comments can touch us when they don't make any fucking sense. So what if that was a thing? Huh? What if the world was made of pudding? Then what? It was like, <laughs> okay. Um, he talking. <laughs> It's just a comment. She says, he tugging? He tugging? <laughs> the world wants to know. You tugging? <laughs> Judge for yourself, babies. <laughs> just shut the fuck up, both of you. <laughs> okay, why are you here? <laughs> go, go away. <laughs> you went to the concert. You don't get to set the playlist. <laughs> you came into our house. Go home. Like, just go away. <laughs> That's the entire these, thing. These were just a selection of the things mm. that we remember to... A small remember. tapas platter. Yes. <laughs> we hope you enjoy it. Again, we did. We always have fun getting these mm. kinds of comments because they just, they mean nothing to us. We have a good laugh. We move on with our day. They're trying a little too hard. Like, they're very, not very imaginative. It's so watered down. Yeah. We've heard it all before. We don't care. We don't agree. No. So, yeah, we, we will keep deleting all this stuff we get all the mm. phobes in the comments because we don't need that negativity in our space yeah. um, and we know a lot of you actually read comments and have discussions with each other and stuff so we don't we don't want that in no. our space no thank you so much for helping us take out the trash uh if we get any more we'll do a follow-up video with this uh kind of theme because honestly it is kind of entertaining. I'm very curious because we never we never get got a comment that no. actually m hurt us. So that will be interesting. No. Like this 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 ain't it. Um, we never get any good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna tell you what would be a, a actual ammunition. <laughs> so just uh, keep keep. Don't time. talk about my massive tits. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I want to talk about them all night long, baby. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> anyway, did you have fun? We had fun. We hope you had fun. And if you did, you can subscribe for more. It's true. We try to upload sometimes. And um, okay, sometimes, sure. occasionally, it happens actually, and that's pretty neat. But when we don't, you can find us all across the world wide web. There are some handy dandy links in the description, so go check that out. Um, and uh, be a good boy uh, or a good girl. Um, or a good little envy. Um, is it working for me? Am I doing it? We're doing what? You're still more giving like little excited dog, dog, doggy baby. Is she giving mommy anyone? Is anyone falling for her mommy act? Tell, tell, tell me. We hope to see you next time. I don't have to find a kilo. Okay, do that. <gasps> we hope to see you next time. Bye. Do I want people to take me seriously? Of course, but I transitioned into a woman, so, you know. <laughs> chances are... We have to uh, live with that. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Have you considered the fact that maybe God doesn't agree with what you're saying, okay? Have you considered these nuts? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Go home! Um, I just want to highlight this one, which is uh, not hate. I don't know if it's supportive, but it is the message I want to put into the world. Someone asks, would you sell used socks for 50 euros? Um, I absolutely would. Um, in this economy? In this economy. Are you kidding me? Oh, do it. If any of you suck people out there, hit us up. Yeah.